it's Andre and it's time for another Friday Flying Update. I'm gonna do an unboxing right now. Three, two, one. Presto, I present to you the Durafly Tomahawk. It is that simple to put this thing together. Pull it out of the box, glue on your fins, pick your colors, and go flying. I mean, the hardest part of this whole process is choosing between red, blue, green, orange, and your number. Uh, I went with orange number six. Because Andre GT6, six, I, I, I don't know. I like the orange too. James wanted the green, but I decided I wanted the orange. Uh, the only thing I've left to set up in this aircraft is some of the control settings, and I've gone with a FR Sky uh what is that that's the uh four channel or that's the x4r and i've got an elite transmitter in the top and a run cam in there all i have to do to finish this setup like i said is the radio and i want to desolder the uh, xt60 and put a, a, a an extra lead in there for the transmitter so i can move the equipment around because I, I you know if i need it plus it allows me to drop the power and the reason i'm doing that normally i would just like leave the balance tab i have sitting in there is this aircraft is spec to run on 4S1000, so they're the graphenes, or the 3S1300s, and of course it spins a 5-inch prop. Actually, I'll run off the specs here in a second, and you have the option of a non-camera canopy or a camera canopy. So I'll be throwing on my run cam so I can get some screaming footage of this thing going around. I can't wait. It's, um, it's a really good size. Now, it does not fit into that sub 250 class uh, because it has got some some beef behind it you know a big nice motor and everything and uh, you know what actually looking at this box this container I'm probably gonna haul out where the prop sits and make some room for the fins underneath and might just keep this container just to protect this thing uh, during transport but yeah, we'll see. I mean, it should be rugged enough. Spec-wise, we're looking at a 670 millimeter wingspan, total length of 360. It's got a nice little uh, multi-star 28 ESC. As I said, without the weight, um, it is, or sorry, without the battery and FPV gear, it's 220 grams. These guys kick in at about 120 to 150 plus that, so we're well over the 250 gram limit, so we will need our spotter. And it's powered by a uh, multi-star 2205, 2150 kV motor spinning a five by five prop i wonder if a three blade it would work well with this thing so i'm really excited to try it out uh, i can't wait to get some fpb flying and of course my defiant 28 is coming along it's glued and the next step will be to cut out the nose and put in that 3d printed camera housing and then dig in my spars set up my control surfaces and all the parts paint it obviously motor mount laminate go flying but Look at that, it's almost the same size. So 28 millimeters, 20, 28 inches. And then of course I have the TBRC Apex V2, which I'm looking forward to getting going. We're gonna have a lot of wings going this year, I suspect. And it's gonna be fun because I'm gonna be able to throw different specs at them, different motor packages, different power speeds and everything, and just enjoy flying FPV again. Uh, some stuff will be over the 250 gram limit. Some will be well under the 250 gram limit. Some will be 3S, some will be 2S, some will be 4S. I'm not crazy enough to do 6S a wing because that would just be nuts. Mm, wings. So lots going on Saturday night. I expect to be digging into this guy or maybe even later on this evening, but who knows. Uh, I will probably be flying this guy. I got to get the Talon out as well because that's ready to go with my FPV setup. I just got him with a basic camera in the nose setup and everything, Can, you know, antenna outside. Uh, did discover inter something interesting about the TL200s, the, the, the transmitters we pick up from Banggood. Their output voltage for the camera is only four volts. So I had to run in a back on a few setups to uh, power it and that will be on like things like the Talon which I'm using a different camera Sony 600mm uh, TV line one versus the board cam as well as my TPRC my Apex V2 I've used something with a uh, UBEC uh, 12 volt or 5 volt power supply 12 volt sorry to take care of the camera and the transmitter and that setup is then portable I can pull it out and move it between them unless I glue the camera into the mount it's hard to say right now Lots going on uh, this weekend, flying obviously, fingers crossed, the weather, it's snowing outside, um, it's April. We'll be doing our one year RC After Hours podcast, uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. we got some special guests to talk to, but stuff going on this summer. So there we go, what a way to start the weekend. 
wings. I'm Andre. It's Friday. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic weekend.